guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be filming a little bit of a mini haul for you guys. Um, I got a couple things from Sephora and then I also got some things from other sites. So I'll be sharing with you guys this Sephora haul that I recently got. And then I did add in a few things that I got recently. Um, some of them I haven't even used that yet. So that's why I wanted to go ahead and include them in this video. So let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing is I actually got this um, about a month ago um, and I did want to include it in this haul because I recently got it and I know you can get it from Sephora because that's where I got it. So I went ahead and I got this because I was looking on Sephora one night and I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. This is from Tarte Cosmetics. This is their um, one of their holiday collection palettes and when you open it up, this is what it looks like inside. It's so cute. We have a mascara up top. You also have a double-ended um, blending brush that is so, so cute. And then this is actually an additional palette. I'll show it to you in a second. And then down here, we have all these different eyeshadows. And the cute thing is that they all are holiday named, which I love. Um, we have Sugar Cookie in a Flurry, Fizz of the Season, It's No Time, Eggnog, What a Beautiful Pearl, Baby It's Gold Outside, um, under the Missile Taupe, Fireside Chat, Gingerbread Mansion, uh, Midnight Kiss, Coco What Fun, Slay Watch. I mean, these are all so, so cute. And I love Tarte Cosmetics products. I love their eyeshadows. One of my favorite palettes that I own is the Tarte Lip Palette. So I'm sure that these shadows are going to be amazing. And like I said, up here on top, you have an extra palette that comes inside of it. And what you get inside is you have a blush, this is a bronzer, and then you have a beautiful highlight shade, which is called Pink Champagne. Pink Champagne. I will give whoever something, if they can tell me what movie that's from. Pink Champagne, tell me. And then you have six eyeshadows over here, which are also um, holiday named. You have um, Dancer and Prancer, Shining Star, Mulberry and Bright. I mean, this is a really great palette as well. So you get that inside of this huge kit. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I'll leave it on the bottom of the screen if I'm wrong. I believe this was $59 and it's like a $398 value. So not only did I want it just because I thought it was so cute, but for the price and the quality and the value that you're getting in this, I definitely knew I needed to add it to my collection. So this this is the Tarte Holiday Palette. I also went ahead and got the other Tarte Holiday Palette that comes um, in their holiday collection. It says that this was $44. It is $110 retail value. And this is their Bling It On Amazonian Clay Blush Palette. I love Tarte blushes. I actually only have two or three. I can't remember right now. Um, but everyone goes crazy for their holiday palettes, um, especially their blush holiday palettes, I should say. And so I, first of all, love the bling packaging. I mean, who doesn't love that? And so inside you have five gorgeous blushes. There's Fetching, Doll Face, Prim, Smashing, and Beaming. My two favorite, though, would probably have to be Fetching and Prim. They are just such nice warm colors and I can't wait to try them out. So yeah, they're just all absolutely gorgeous. Um, they are matte um, from what I can see. This one does have a bit of a shimmer kind of sparkle in it, the one at the end called Beaming. Um, but no, they're all absolutely gorgeous. And these are all shades that you could definitely use all the time, every single day. So yeah, this is the Tarte Bling It On palette. Bling It On. Next, I also got this Kevin Aquan Contour Book, Volume 2, The Art of Sculpting and Defining. Um, contains full-size creams, powders for contouring versatility. So this is what it looks like. Um, and then when you open it up, you actually have some tips and tricks as to how you contour and um, they actually give you what products you can use to do that. And then when you open up the inside, this is what the inside looks like. You have, I don't know how to do this. You have a sculpting cream, sculpting powder. Um, you also have two highlighting shades, which is um, for your eyes. This is bright and starlight. And then over here you have candlelight cream and candlelight powder, which is for your face. You can also use them on your eyes as well. Um, and then we also have contouring shades for your eyes. So this 
The Kevin Aquan products are quite expensive. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this was $65. And his candlelight powder, I believe, on its own, if I'm not mistaken, is like $45. So when I saw this value for the holidays, I knew that I definitely wanted to get this because Kevin Aquan things, like I said, are really expensive and they're high end. And his sculpting powder is supposed to be like one of the best. So I knew I definitely wanted to try this out. I'm very much into sculpting and contouring with creams right, lately too. So I'm really excited to go ahead and try out the sculpting cream that he has in here. Um, as well as his candlelight cream. I love, I've really, like I said, been really into creams and everything like that. So yeah, I am just so excited to use this whole palette. So this is the Kevin Aquan contour book. Another thing that I got from Sephora is this um, Besame Brightening Vanilla Face Powder. I've seen a bunch of people use this in the past and I always wanted it, but I just kind of forgot about it. And so when I was searching through Sephora, damn phone. When I was searching through Sephora, um, this came up and I really wanted to try it. It's a vanilla powder. You can use it. Oh, it comes with a little cute sponge. Um, it is sealed off, so I won't open it right now, but it is a powder. It's a translucent powder. You can do that baking with it, or if you want to put it on top. Um, I do use the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I love it. And so I really do want to try this out and see if I like it. Maybe tomorrow I'll try it out and I'll let you guys know how I like it. It says for all skin types, so on and so forth. So if you have sensitive skin, I'm guessing it's good. Um, so yeah, I will definitely be trying this out. So this is the Besame Brightening Vanilla Face Powder. Next, from Sephora, I got something I'm really excited about. I got, uh, it's corny. It was, that was corny, that was corny. I got a bunch of the Huda Beauty lashes. I have wanted to try Huda Beauty lashes for so long and I just never got around to, to purchasing. But then when I saw that Sephora was carrying these, I just went, ham as you can see so i actually got doubles in some of the things um oh penny are you gonna help me so i did get doubles in some of the styles so this is the style carmen hope you guys can see it they're very full very fluffy i can't wait to try those out and then i got two of the scarlet Ooh, look at those can you guys see them so that is Scarlet. I got two of those because I thought those were gorgeous. And then I got a pair of the Sasha, which as you can see, they came with a school bus. A school bus. So these are the Sasha lashes. They are so, they remind me a lot of like a longer um, House of Lashes iconic. So I can't wait to try these out. And then I got two pair of the Samantha lashes, which I see seriously everywhere. I'm just gonna take this off because it's making it cloudy. That I see seriously everywhere, all over Huda's um, Instagram and everything. So I definitely had to get two pair of those. So I'm really excited to try these out. They're supposed to be amazing. So I'll let you guys know how I like them. So these are the Huda Beauty lashes. And then these next four products I actually didn't get from Sephora, um, but actually the, the Anastasia palette you can get from Sephora, I believe. Um, but I did want to include this because I did get this as a recent purchase. I know I had this in my favorites video, but I absolutely love this palette. I used it yesterday as well because I wanted to recreate um, the self-made palette their campaign was Olivia Colpo. She had this beautiful look that Makeup by Mario did and so I wanted to recreate that so I used it yesterday and I used it twice over the weekend and I just really really love this palette. I still have yet to use that purple but I'm going to use that pretty soon for you guys. So this is the Anastasia Self Made palette. I also got this palette. This is by Velvet59. Um, this is the very first product that I have of theirs but I actually saw someone using it in a tutorial. Um, and I thought it was a, such a pretty palette. This is the Exotic Lotus palette. Um, I actually got it because I saw someone using it in a makeup tutorial here on YouTube. So I wanted to try it out. I don't have any of the, any other Velvet 59 products. So I wanted to try this and it is such a pretty palette. Oh my goodness, I love it so much. So in the palette, you have your pinks, your browns, you got this really nice, oh my gosh, that looks such like a pretty, pretty like lilac-y lavender color. Um, they just all look so, so pretty. So I really want to try looks out with this palette very soon because it looks so, so pretty. So this is the Exotic Lotus Palette by Velvet59. 
Another lash that I got that I seriously, these are like my new favorite lashes. These will probably be in my upcoming favorites video. These are the House of Lashes Boudoir Lashes. I actually am wearing, wearing them right now. And this tutorial I just filmed today. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this look, I will link the tutorial. I will link the tutorial for you guys down below. But I use these today. I absolutely love them. These are definitely going to be my go-to lashes from now on. Um, and so yeah, I'm going to have to go buy like six more boxes because for me, when I like something, I need to buy like 20 of them because when I run out, I'll go crazy. So these are the boudoir lashes from House of Lashes. This is from Jouer Cosmetics. I do have a couple of their products. I do really like them. So. This is their Long Wear Cream Mousse Eyeshadow in the shade Galaxy. Okay, I got it. And, oh, oh, look at how pretty. So this is what it looks like here in the pan. I hope you can see that. And this is what it looks like on my hand. So it is such a nice, pretty, taupey brown color. So I definitely, and going to use this in a tutorial because this just screams to me holidays. So look for this in a tutorial very, very soon. Like I said, this is from Jouer Cosmetics and this is their long wear cream mousse eyeshadow in the shade Galaxy. So that is it for my mini Sephora haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It wasn't that much, but I decided just to go ahead and film it because I've been wanting to kind of do some other videos here on my channel and I thought that this would be kind of a good one to um, just kind of break up. And I also love watching haul videos. I love seeing what other people get. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Woo! I hit the tree. Hi, yo. No, I'm all right. When I hit the tree, no, I'm okay. Thank you for caring, honey.